So you've bought a new construction house and you've picked all your selections, but you've got all these months between buying the house and closing on the house. Well, today we're looking at the pre-drywall inspection where you actually get to walk through the property and see it come to life. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eric Stanio from Keller Williams Realty and TeamStanio.com where we are helping you find your home and strengthen your family. I'm here outside on a cold February morning. We are in the Bally Shannon neighborhood here in Union, Kentucky, which is centrally located. A lot of growth going on here. Uh, check out our previous video we've done on Bally Shannon versus Triple Crown if you wanna get a feel for some of the new homes. And it's fun as you look around because there's a lot of new construction going on and you can see the neighborhood kind of springing up into life. And today what we're doing is the pre-drywall inspection for one of you, one of my clients who's buying a Fisher Homes here in Union. So we get to walk through the house, see everything where the studs are built, where the outlets are, where the plumbing is, where the electric is. You get to actually get a feel for the house that you've purchased instead of just seeing it online and through drawings. Uh, and you get to ask all the questions you wanna ask to the Fisher rep. So whether it's Fisher or Drees or Miranda or MI Homes or even a custom builder, most builders are gonna have this part of the process. It's a great time for you to actually get a feel for the house. It starts to feel more like your own and you can ask any question you want and start to lay out how are you gonna lay out your furniture and do some measurements, things like that, where it becomes more real and kind of jumps off the paper and is more tangible. We said this before, but I'll say it again. If you're buying new construction, I strongly recommend that you get a buyer's agent to represent you in the process. Most builders are gonna have the cost, the commission of a buyer's agent built into their pro forma and their expenses already. So you don't have to pay for it at all, but you get the extra opportunity of an agent to walk through with you, not only buying the house, but all through the process, ask questions that you might not think to ask and represent you throughout the entire process. So, it, and it doesn't cost you a thing. So make sure you're getting a buyer's agent before you go to that model home, before you go talking to all the different builders, get an agent, whether it's me or anyone else, get an agent on your side to help you walk through the process of buying a new construction house. Today, we get to walk through this house with Rich, who's on the construction team here at Fisher. Ask any questions we want. Let's go check it out. What were we doing here today, Rich? Today we did the pre-drywall, uh, pre-drywall meetings where we uh, we walk uh, walk the customer through the home. That way they can get a get a feel of kind of how the home feels for the first time. Uh, see everything pre-drywall. They can see uh, studs. Um, you know whether it's empty areas in the you know between walls. Sometimes there's little nooks and crevices they like to see. Um, some again studs so they can see where they want to hang things, how they want to hang things. Things like that. Yeah, so it's really like it's the first time they've seen all the drawings, they've seen yep. all the renditions online, but now you actually get to walk through it for the first time. So, yes, what do you think our customers' common responses or most um, important they get takeaways? A, they get a good feeling on on the actual feeling of the home, so they get a good feeling on um, you know how each room feels because um, a lot of the times the customers hasn't or haven't been in a, in a home yet. Mm -hmm. So, or at least th this home or their floor plan with their selections and their uh, their floor plan, I guess. So they're they're really getting a good feel on on how each room feels. That's the big. I think that's probably the biggest thing. Yeah. So they start to visualize furniture, like how to move stuff in, just just. Yeah getting yep. to feel it. Yep. What, what are some of the common questions you get a lot from customers um, at this point? A lot of things that uh, people want to know are, are where outlets are, um, uh, where plumbing's at uh, inside the walls. They want to know dimensions of rooms um, that, you know, again, they're getting a good feeling. So they're trying to measure things out and see, oh, is my bed going to fit here? Is my couch going to fit here? Yeah. I think that's probably the biggest thing. And they want to know the layout of cabinetry and things like that. Well, and it's cool too. I mean, because you've gone through your selections, but you pointed out a few things <clears throat> in the tour, like on the entryway, there's a spot that where they could knock out and put a shelf there if they wanted. So if they didn't do that in their selection, they could later. And so it's cool to get those insights from you. Yeah, yeah, and that's just kind of like personal insights, I would say. Uh, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really consider that to be like a, a Fisher, right. a Fisher thing. Just you knowing the property. Yeah, and I'm this like, hey, you know, this is something I've seen quite a bit. You can, you know, you can take this out down the road if you wanted to, and this is a perfect spot. Instead of using it as a bypass closet, you can use it as a bench in your mudroom. Yep. So, so what? Uh, after you go through this process and customers happy, what are the next steps in terms of heading towards closing? So after this, um, the customer can continues to get um, just emails from me, updates, weekly updates from me um, saying, hey, this is what's going on in the home. 
uh, after this is your is the walkthrough of the home. Um, so it goes from this to pretty much a finished home. We'll call it a 99% finished home yep. um, at the walkthrough. At that point, we show you all of the um, basically how to how to operate the house, how to how to work the house, um, all the bells and whistles of the home, how to maintain the house. Um, and really just give you a good understanding of the house itself. And you even mentioned from that, from this point until then, if they, your guys are sending photos and updates and if they want to walk through the house and look at updates along the way, they can do that as well? Yeah, yeah, you just got to get with uh, somebody at Fisher. That way we can walk through with you. Or if you have any questions or want to see something uh, in between now and then, we can always arrange something. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate your expertise. Yep. All right, guys, so that's it. You got to walk through the house, ask questions, see what it feels like to be inside of the house. Look at the, the studs and, and the drywall it's about to be put on. I hope this video was helpful for you as you're kind of thinking about, do I want to do new construction or not? It's a very exciting part of the process as you're beyond just the foundation, the walls, the exterior is mostly done, the roof is on, and you're like, this thing is actually coming to life. So it's a very fun part of the process. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, getting to look inside the process of what it looks like to buy a new construction house. If you're thinking of new construction in 2022, give us a call at Team Stanio. Would love to help you out, point you to different areas, whether that's in Northern Kentucky or the Cincinnati area, talk through different builders with you, and just help you throughout the process. You can email me directly at eric.stanio at kw.com. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like if it was helpful to you. Please subscribe to the channel. We've got lots more content coming for you guys planned this year. Uh, we know it's helpful for you, so we're going to just keep trying to build stuff that's helpful for you and whether you're looking to buy or sell a house in the Cincinnati area. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of the team, Stanio Clanio, and we'll see you next time.